and T-minus one minute, 30 seconds from launch. At this point, the ground propellant feed has now been terminated to the rocket. And T minus one minute, the Soyuz now on internal power, and we have auto sequence start. So again, watch out for those two umbilical towers, which will separate from the booster. That first umbilical separating, indicating we're about 35 seconds away from launch. Second umbilical retracting, the booster is beginning to fire. We have preliminary booster ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Reed Wiseman, Max Arayev, and Alexander Gerst, an international crew on their way to the International Space Station. First stage performance, the Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single core engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measuring 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Now just about one minute, 10 seconds into the flight of Soyuz TMA-13M, velocity of the vehicle at 1,100 miles per hour. Getting indication the second stage performing as expected. And getting confirmation the launch shroud surrounding the Soyuz craft has been jettisoned. The rocket's altitude now at about 48 miles. A little over three minutes into launch now, the Soyuz craft traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. Three crew members giving the thumbs up inside, the core stage performing as expected. That core engine of the Soyuz, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine and four fuel chambers, providing between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude. 
It'll fire for about the total of three minutes and 28 seconds. The stage is gonna continue to burn until about the four minute, 43 second mark. Soyuz uses what's called a hot staging technique. So the third stage will ignite while the second stage is still burning. That's why the Soyuz has that small open area in between the second and third stages. Again, continuing to get uh, views inside the cabin. Again, keep your eye on the giraffe of hanging in the top left corner. Uh, the crew is always using a token uh, to sim signify uh, when the crew is in microgravity. So you'll see that float uh, at the end of today's flight. Continuing to get good reports. All systems reported as nominal, going as expected. And pretty soon coming up on second stage shutdown and third stage ignition. And getting confirmation the second stage is shut down and separated. The core booster separated at an altitude of 105 miles. Soyuz now being propelled by a single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. The engine providing 67,000 pounds of thrust. It'll burn for about four minutes and two seconds. Getting reports of third stage engine performing as expected. Again, continuing to get good indications from the vehicle as the third stage engine continues to fire. It burns for four minutes and two seconds. So it has about two minutes and 20 seconds or so left uh, in its firing time. And you'll continue to get a view from here inside the Russian Flight Control Center. Uh, now um, tied in uh, to the rocket as the third stage continues to uh, send the astronauts into its preliminary orbit. And now seven minutes, 30 seconds since that launch from Baikonur. Velocity of the vehicle now almost 13,500 miles an hour. And once this third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit, the module is separated. Again, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed in order to prepare the Soyuz uh, for orbital operations. Stored commands are known as time-tagged commands. They allow many of the Soyuz systems uh, to be automatically activated by onboard computers at uh, very precise times that are already stored on board. Again, all indications continuing, the third stage continuing to uh, perform as expected. Just about 30 seconds now expected until third stage cutoff and separation.
in just about 15 seconds now. And you saw that a uh, bit of a jolt for them as that third stage cut off, cuts off and separates the single liquid fueled engine uh, shutting down and dropping away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Uh, the third stage uh, will perform an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Uh, but again, uh, the third stage separated. And getting confirmation uh, all systems uh, being deployed uh, successfully. Confirmation of spacecraft separation. Uh, the capsule, the crew inside, safely in orbit. Automatically uh, executing the 